being an indian ca where the passing percentage is in single digit mm-hmm. if someone can pass an indian ca they can definitely do cpa but the only way to pass it hello guys welcome back to my channel immigrant very good to know about different career options from the students and professionals who share their experience with those of you who plan to study or work in canada in today's video we will cover some similarities and differences between ca and cpa the process of getting your cpa in canada especially if you're ca in india do you really need it in order to land a full time job and finally we'll finish it off with some valuable information on csc certification all of this with our guest dipak gupta who is a chartered accountant from india moved to canada as an immigrant she has been to several roles in accounting and finance and she's also a cpa in canada so without any further ado let's get started Hi Dimple, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much Sagar. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Awesome. Uh so before we jump into the questions that I have for you today, if you can quickly introduce yourself to our viewers. For sure Sagar, uh I am Dimple Gupta, a chartered accountant and company secretary from India. I'm also a CPA from Canada. We um, we moved in 2016. It's been around 6 year now in Canada. I work as a business analyst finance. Um, all right Dimple, so to start it off, uh, my first question is as you mentioned in the introduction that you're a chartered accountant uh, in India. um and then cpa in canada which will definitely cover in the later part of the video um so uh, the question is how was the transition from having ca in canada and uh, sorry ca in india and then cpa in canada like what was the some of the difficulties or similarities that you faced that's a really good question uh, sagar because when i was planning or i enrolled myself for the cpa This was the first question I was asking myself and trying to understand what is the similarity here and what are the differences what I have to do. So the similarities which I actually saw between these two courses were were in terms of the syllabus were in were, was in terms of the theme of the course so like the subject accountancy audit taxes and finance uh, these are these are these subjects uh, were very similar but the difference which i really saw there and it took me long honestly it took me very long to understand these differences the difference was completely in terms of the approach examination approach writing approach the way canadian cpa wants us to write the write the examination indian uh, ca exams are completely based on a q and a format however canadian cpa is a case writing based course it's it uh, it gives us a practical real company situation where you have to there is no uh, uh, a clear question you have to read through the course to to the through the case and trying to understand what what they are trying to ask you you have to answer them then and it's also a uh, open book exam so you have the access to the book through the, throughout the time of the examination it's is basically understanding this approach only that can help you to pass this examination awesome uh i know both of them they're not easier uh, like they're not easy at all but which one is did you find like was harder or which one uh, do you think was tough to um score or pass the exam so uh like in terms of difficulty or the depth of the technical syllabus i would say indian course is tougher than the the uh, canadian cpa however uh none of the course is easy right. none of them are easy and canadian cpa i would rather say it's it's not very difficult but it is different being an indian ca where the passing percentage is in single digit mm-hmm. if someone can pass an indian ca they can definitely do cpa but the only way to pass it is to understand the approach the difference in the approach so i mean i would say it is not very difficult but it is different and would encourage everyone to understand those differences then only you can uh, 
it definitely passed this exam all right dimples going forward if you can walk us through the process of getting cpa uh, any piece of useful information like the fees uh, the exam structure uh, which will definitely help the audience for sure sagar that's again a wonderful question and uh, it, it's very helpful for anyone who is thinking to join a cpa so for for my side what i would i would suggest is the first important thing is getting a good standing certificate and to get that you must have cleared all your membership dues with the indian institute of chartered accountants and have completed the re- requirements of the pdrs so at the time when i was trying to enroll myself uh, for cpa i made sure that i have cleared out my dues and have completed the pdrs requirement you can go to the icai website and apply do an online application for good standing certificate it's really easy to apply and it comes in in just a week another important point is to pro- go through the cpa website or and enter into the area for internationally qualified accountants and there you have to fill out some two forms related to cpa and just provide some your identification and address proof documents in terms of the fees it it, it the initial enrollment fees is around 820 dollars however the, there would be an examination fees which is around 1800 dollar if you go for any tuitions for cpa it will cost you Two thousand to three thousand dollars. Again, uh, there are capstones in a CPA course, which is capstone one and capstone two. So, and capstone two is something which you must go through. If you go through capstone two, it it costs you around sixteen hundred dollar. So, in a nut sale, at least the course entire course will cost you around five thousand dollars, and. Uh, yes, that's it. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I guess there are some organizations that actually compensate you for the CPA, right? Yes, you're very right. So many organizations, when you pursue a course, it's not just CPA, but any professional course like CFE or something. Ma- majorly, these big five banks in Canada and many other organization actually. pay you back reimburse your uh, course fees so if you are working in an organization here in canada uh, the course will actually not cost you anything as you can get the reimbursement all right and just to clear things off that you don't like you are you are a ca you are a chartered accountant but you don't really have to uh, have a ca right i mean you can also start from scratch if you're in canada to get your cpa it might, yes. it might be a different yes. route uh, but Yes, for sure. You can start uh, from scratch a CPA course if you are in Canada, and you don't necessarily have to be an Indian CA. Indian CA just has the benefit that we can directly enroll ourselves to the very final exam of CPA, which is Common Final Final Examination, normally called CFE. So we can directly appear to the finals. However, if you start from scratch, it be it has different levels, and the entire course takes around five years to complete. So Dimple, what do you think that how important is CPA in order to land you your job, or is it something that you have to have? Is it like something which is mandatory to get you a job in accounting or finance? so um for sure no you don't need to have a cpa to land a job in canada and especially if you are looking in terms of uh, uh, finance and accounting if you have some experience in india in this these in finance and accountancy you can definitely land something here in canada as well although they do ask for canadian experience but if you are confident enough if you prepare yourself enough if you connect with different people in canada and try to understand the process and you modify your resume as per the job job market here you connect with the recruiter if you are doing all these steps if you are following then cpa is not mandatory to land a full time job 
CPA is more required if you want to grow up in the ladder of co- corporate ladder and being an Indian CA for me when I came to Canada and I came to know that Indian CA degree is not very much recognized here it was kind of a bit heartbreaking for me and so I work even though it was starting the studies all over again and everything but I went through all those difficulty and completed this designation because I really wanted uh, to be recognized as a chartered accountant and yes it doesn't a uh, necessary it is not necessary to land a full time job but if you want to excel and go up higher in the corporate ladder it is then required for sure in in the area of finance and accountancy i would say not in the other uh, roles so simple as i was going through your linkedin profile before reaching out to you i observed that you also you're also a csc certified you have a csc certification if you want to shed some light on that as well uh, for sure uh, sagar so csc is a canadian security course and as we know that in canada the biggest employers are these big five banks and anyone who wants to enter into the roles related to finance and accounts in uh, or especially in finance related roles in banks they must do canadian security scores i mean it's not uh, it's it's not a must then again it's a must because i mean it, these banks always prefer people who understand how the bank works what are the kind of instruments a bank sell so this course is majorly focused on the security market in canada different components of the security market players in the security market security uh, market regulators so they prefer people who have these understanding if you are trying to um, <clears throat> trying to get into a role which is more on the front line bank role you must do a canadian security course certification apart from this certification there are many other con- secure certification course which canadian security institute offer you might uh, want to go to the website and and uh, browse through they are really helpful in starting up in in any banks in canada